electric vehicle drivers face a daily challenge of deciding when and where to charge their vehicles, for how long and how to fit it into their busy schedule. This challenge intensifies for more than 50% of the population that cannot charge their cars at home, simply because they don't own a private parking spot. That's where power comes in. They are developing a smart and powerful electric vehicle charging assistant that makes public charging easily accessible to drivers and provides optimized charging plans and recommendations. This startup was part of the High Road Accelerator program, which specializes in urban tech, smart cities, and smart mobility. And here to tell us more about it is Emil Shapira, founder of Power. Welcome. Hi. So why don't you tell us about Power? What exactly do you do? So we're an early stage startup, um, and we're building a solution for electric vehicle drivers to help them better manage the way they charge their vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're an electric vehicle owner and you don't have a parking at home, it means that you cannot charge at night. You will be constantly looking for places to charge your vehicle, thinking where to put it into your schedule, how much it's going to cost you, where do you find an available charger. So all those things that go into your head, um, you're occupied by them, you're disturbed by them. And we basically take the hassle out of the charging by telling drivers exactly where and when to charge based on their patterns, their needs, their schedule. Uh, so we kind of optimize the charging for them. So before we get into to that, I, I want to kind of understand what infrastructure is available today for electric car drivers? So it, it depends where uh, you are in the world, but in places where electric vehicles are, um, are more advanced, you would see thousands of charging stations, public charging stations um, on the streets. There are slow chargers, fast chargers, ultra fast chargers that you can find on highways mm -hmm. um, and at people's houses or at workplaces. Um, but the fact is that between 40 to 50 percent of the households in the Western world don't have private parking, so they park on street. Mm -hmm. So now imagine that you are one of those and you take an electric vehicle and you don't have where to charge at night, you don't have where to charge at work, so how do you manage with that? And what happens is people today don't take fully electric vehicles. They might take a plug-in hybrid, but they don't take fully electric vehicles simply because of the hassle. So we're trying to solve that and actually accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles, have more people take electric vehicles today even if they don't have a private parking. Now for those who don't have electric vehicles or who may not know, charging takes a considerable amount of time. Can you, how long exactly. does it take to charge a car? So it can take you today anywhere between 40 minutes to 10 hours depending on your vehicle, depending on, on the charger. Mm -hmm. uh, at home it takes like all night, but um, when you're talking about public charging, um, the average would be like one or two hours. Um, this technology is advancing, so it'll be faster, um, but still you would have like in, um, on the roads next to your house, you might have slow chargers, even though there are fast ones out there in the highway. Um, so it'll be a mix and people will need to manage when they charge in slow chargers and when they charge faster. So like when you're going on a road trip, mm -hmm. you might charge in a fast charger, but on a daily basis, um, you need those slow chargers as well. Okay, so let's say I'm an electric car owner. How does your product help me? So you would have an app that would basically tell you proactively mm -hmm. when and where to charge. So you don't need to think about it. You don't need to plan it. It plans for you. So what we do is we connect to the vehicles. We connect to the charging stations in the environment. Mm -hmm. We might connect to your calendar, if you will allow us, to know your schedule for the next day. And using some uh, machine learning algorithms, we predict when and where is the best time for you to charge, and we proactively tell you. So you don't need to open an app, look for you know, uh, an available charger. You don't need to think about it. It will tell you. You might look you know, at the end of the weekend. Uh, you might open your app and, and say, OK, what are my charging options for this week? It'll tell you, OK, this week, Tuesday and Thursdays. Th those are your charging spots. And you know, it, it gives kind of a relief. There's no anxiety. You know when you need to charge. Someone's taking care for you, knowing exactly what you need. So your app basically takes care of everything. I just open it, and it'll tell me, go charge at 3 o'clock today at this location. Exactly. And it's, and, and, and it's not just random. So it will schedule it, optimize to your needs. So it'll be in parallel to things that you do in life. Mm -hmm. So not when you like, go from A to B. Because when you drive and you're going from A to B, uh, and the car tells you, hey, stop in the middle for 40 minutes to charge, that might be too late. You're hurrying you know, to pick up your kids or yeah. to a meeting. You don't want to stop for 40 minutes. So what we do is we schedule charging to happen in parallel to things that you do in life. So when you go to the gym, shopping, or you attend a meeting, that's when you want the car to be charged while you're doing other stuff, not sit and wait for it to get charged. Mm -hmm. This raises just one question for me. You know, through your app, 
you basically know a person's schedule, you know their habits. How, how do you deal with sort of the privacy aspect in that regard? So of course we uh, comply with all the privacy um, um, you know, regulations. Um, many apps today, you know, if you open Google Calendar or you know any other app, they know your schedule. And by the way, it's not a must. So we will uh, learn the patterns and we will know how to schedule things for you, even if you don't allow us to connect to your calendar. But you will understand that it will bring you that amount of value that you say, okay, I'm willing to put my calendar here as well as in many other apps. Mm -hmm. So it will actually give me the best. Um, optimized charging schedule for me so I don't need to think about it, I don't need to take care of it. So hassle free. And yeah. what stage are you in now? You said you're an early stage startup, so is the product available? Is the app available? Well, not yet. We're uh, launching soon our MVP, our minimum viable product in London. So our target, first target market is Europe and we're starting in London. Um, so very soon, very soon, it's going to be out there. Great. Well, we can't wait. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. It was a pleasure. Thank you.